What is the biggest amount of stone you farmed throughout your wipe? Now, I consider myself one of the top farmers in the game, and to prove that fact, I decided to try collecting half a million stone. And to make it a lot more interesting, I decided to do this challenge on a fully wiped server with 750 people playing it. Jeez, we're playing a Reddit server, there's 750 people online. First, we're gonna just lay out the base, you know, the stone that I'll get building the base, uh, I'll n I'm not gonna count it. I'm just gonna count the ones that I'll store in the boxes I will make later. So yeah, that's about it, and now let's try to get a base down in the snow. I woke up at the beach full of nakeds without realizing that this is going to be the hardest start I have ever experienced. Right, so, try number one, of course I failed, now I gotta run, oh my god. That man is just simply farming without any hesitation. Damn. Thanks. I mean, did lose a bit of health, but... Nonetheless, we now have some resources and stuff. Oh, come on. I just spawned in! What the hell is your problem? I had to wait 150 player queue for this? Come on, please the back, please the back, please the back, come on! Before we get into building a base, a message from the sponsor. Rust Clash. Rust Clash is an online gambling site with many different games like Mines, Jackpot, Blinko, and more. Each week they give away $25,000 through an on-site rain feature. You can deposit using any of these payment methods and even get a cheeky bonus too. Using my code gives you an additional 5%, just saying. You can withdraw in Rust skins or crypto. And remember fellas, don't be stupid and gamble responsibly. After having a hard time, I managed to farm enough resources to build my starter base in the snowy hills. I've already seen a lot of nodes around, which was a good early sign. And after this long, uh, I managed to put, put a base down. I even have a shotgun trap. Holy. I think I should try my luck at the power plant. I have a hazmat suit, and if I can get some scrap, or even get... Ooh, someone's out. Okay. There's three? Three on one does not count. Yeah, no, three versus one, count, that doesn't yeah. count. Hey, okay. hey, that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, so... Ooh. Ooh, we can already make a vending machine. Damn, I'm getting lucky with the gears. Woo! Nice.
The area I decided to live in was very crowded. Once again, I chose a location with many clans around my 2x1. So I decided to fortify my base so I would have enough space to store all the stone I planned to farm. We just had the first walk with the dog and throughout that time I cooked the entire metal frags I had. Will fit perfect and boom. This is perfect. I just now need to save this pickaxe until tomorrow. Doing, Andy? What are you doing, Andy? And just like that, I met my neighbors that lived just a few meters away from me. We didn't speak much at first, but they seemed like people that do not oppose a threat to me. How you doing, boy? Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? So, do you live in that little base? That little yeah. Thingy? Yeah, I do. Nice, nice, nice. You enjoying it? Uh, it's been alright, I guess. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, okay. Took too soon, I guess. Eventually, my neighbors were curious as to why am I here solo, as the area itself mainly consisted of clans. I avoided telling them the real reason I was here, because I wanted to keep my goal a secret. Andy. Hey. No. So what, what's the deal then? The, the deal what's of the what? Deal? Uh, I mean, just chill stuff. Why are you on the set for solo, my friend? Des? I don't know. I like high pop servers, kind of chilling it. Yeah, but you, know, you do realize that this is an EU server, like you could play American. Like you get a lot of ping on this server. Well, I do live in EU. What's the what's the deal with that? <laughs> oh, you do. Oh, I thought. Uh... <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right. Be friendly, mate. Yeah, yeah, fun as well.
finally, I was able to expand my base and even set up a vending machine. I didn't focus much on the vending machine, I decided to have one just so I could sell goods I don't need for scrap. After a very draining day one, I logged off for the night. All I could hope for now was to log in into my unrated base so I could start gathering the first stone. My neighbors made a lot of progress over the night, but they got raided, which was kinda odd because my base was just a few meters away, but it was untouched. A few hours into day two, one of the members from my neighbor base came to say hello. He also confirmed the fact that they were offline raided. We got raped last night, come along. <laughs> look, look what they did to my base. Oh my god. I wouldn't be mad, but they griefed the TC, like I can't even take the base back. Oh no. I'm gonna be AFK inside my base, so if you need anything, just let me know. Uh. Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> sorry. That's all right.
At this point, my base was upgraded to stone. I wanted to fortify it even more, so I decided it would be a good idea to learn the electric furnace, as it served really well in the last video. Closer to 100k stone already. Alright, there's a lot of crazy shit going on outside. There's currently 613 people playing. A few hours after I met a member from my neighbor's base, I found Magic Pooh Wizard sleeping on top of his base. This meant only one thing, the very first people I met on day one gave up on their adventure quite soon. I was now left alone with no allies. I was already close to 100k stone. At this point, I already felt exhausted, as it was really hard to find and farm stone across all these clans fighting each other close to me. Nonetheless, I kept going. As my stone stock grew, I decided to spend some time on the base. One of the key elements for me now was the garage door I yet did not have.
one thing that I already wanted to test out in the previous video was the drone. By the help of the drone, I could fly around my area and look for stone nodes without leaving the base. Hello, my friend. Hey. Hey, can you sell me one uh, crossbow and something, uh, something warm to wear? I can bring you scrap. Um, I can give it to you for free. Hold on a second. Oh, actually, that decayed okay. base has a lot of uh, clothing. Wait a minute. Uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, no worries, man. Come from you. You speak very, very fine English. Normal jump. Okay, you must go this, this side here. Hey, it's uh, it's over here. The clothing is up up here. In this box. Okay. Yeah, 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 you can take everything. Oh, minus 10, I'm gonna die. Shit. Uh, take can this. Make a fire here somewhere. No? Take this. It was three minutes after midnight, and I was about to log out, but someone was outside my base. Hello, man. What's up? Hey, man. Do you want to trade some sulfur for stone, maybe? 
We need, uh, I need sulfur for, uh, I mean, I need stone for base build, you know? Oh. Uh, we have a lot of sulfur, but we, don't, we just need stone. Listen. Yeah? So, the only thing I'm doing here is trying to get one million stone. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> oh, shit, man! man. That's why you're so fucking empty, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you heard me right. Initially, I was planning on getting a million stone, but considering the fact that this was a weekly server, it would be pretty much impossible for me to get one million stone before the server wipes. So, I decided to go for a bit smaller goal, because I wasn't even sure whether I'll be able to farm half a million. I can sell you 100k stone if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, how much stuff you want for it, man? These two nice fellas were looking to buy some stone. I really wanted to help these fellas out because they were nice and didn't try to kill me. I asked them to come back a few minutes later so I could come up with the offer first. Mind coming back in like five minutes? Yeah, yeah, no stress. I'll no think stress. Of, of the offer and uh, we can uh, talk. Yeah, definitely, man. Sounds yeah, yeah, great. Okay. Alright, man. Hey, welcome. All right, man. Have you thought of any good offers yet? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, yeah. Right. So, welcome, John Lynn. Nice to have you here. Uh, Thank you very to much, make sir. This, um, cozy place, you know, nice view and stuff like that. So, uh, here's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you think, and let's do business. Oh shit, I'm out of wood. We are, we are just discussing, we are... Yeah, understandable, you, you have your time, it's alright. I'm gonna go fill up the uh, stone fire pit. Alrighty, gentlemen. Alright, alright, we've come to a conclusion, sir. Uh -huh. we, we accept your trade, we just need a little bit of time, okay? Okay, so... Uh, I'm actually logging off in like, I don't know, like 20 to 30 oh. minutes. Uh, I can make you this one gentleman offer. Yeah. Uh, I can give you this 100k stone right now, and you can pay me tomorrow. But that's the gentleman move on your side. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds great, man. If you want a compromise, you can do the 50k now, and we do... Uh, uh, wait, can I have the note? And we do the uh, we do the five k sulfur now, uh, uh -huh. two hundred scrap now, and uh, whatever HQM we have on us. All right, we bring that it back from this if it's okay for you. And you can have the two, and you can have the source as well. You know, right now. That's great. All right, All right. That right. sounds good. Sounds okay. Yeah. Sounds okay, good. so we start take this sulfur for the moment, and we bring up back the stuff in a while, in a minute. All okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. See Bear you, back, man. Uh, that's great. Alright, let's take the uh, box and a box of stone. Hello! Alright, come with we my... We got some more stuff. Oh, Alright, that's perfect. I have some... Uh... Hello, man. Yeah, you oh, can... Oh, okay, yeah. super. Hey, here, man. Here. Okay, yeah. Uh, we give you this as well, and this, and this. Great! Oh, stop. and uh, this nice. is this is some compensation for the scrap for the moment, okay? We don't oh. have all the scrap right now, but we'll okay, bring it later. That's no okay? worries. No worries. So we just need to. All right. Yeah. You is can this take for us? Stone. Yeah, it's all yours. Oh shit! <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, you can have a pistol on the on the house. Hey, cheers to that. All right, man. Very much appreciate it. Uh, no we'll worries. talk to you tomorrow then, okay? Yeah. Have the, we'll have the rest of the stuff then. All right, we can do it. Tomorrow, Thank you very much, Andy. Time. Have a, have no a nice worries, night. Man. You too, boy. Yeah, same time. Same time. Perfect. Cool. Have a nice See night. See you later, Mister. <laughs> All right, ten gears. Awesome. Not gonna lie, this has been the most fun trade I have ever done. We came up with the agreement that we'll meet up tomorrow at the same time as today. They were planning to buy even more stone.
Day 2 was about to end. My stone stocks were rising quickly. For now, I felt pretty safe, and I was ready to log out for the night. There's an unfortunate thing I have to confess. For the entire day 3, my mic decided to stop working. I have had this blue snowball mic for almost 10 years now, and I think pretty soon it'll be dead. Let me know what mic do you use and if you'd recommend it. And yeah, for now, I'll leave everything to NDAI to basically help you understand what's going on. Once again, sorry for the inconvenience and I'll do my best to sort everything out. Day 3 was a short day for me. I didn't do anything else apart from farming stone. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, two guys were randomly inspecting my base. 
I didn't like that because I felt like they wanted to raid me. Surprisingly, two gentlemen from yesterday showed up to say hello. Unfortunately, they had a hard time making progress since yesterday. They got griefed by their neighbors multiple times which led to very little progress. They had nothing to buy the stone for. But it was nice of them to show up and let me know what's good. Yeah, they, they got into our base but they got stuck and they like destroyed our whole <laughs> base from the inside. <laughs> This game sometimes is really nice and sometimes it's like it's like a gay porn, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna farm the road and uh, might see you later, Mister. It was now day 4. I didn't have much time on day 4. I logged in in the morning and later had to log in in the late evening. Hello. making something really special. And now I have a computer stationed and I have a drone. We'll be trying to use that drone and fly around for a little bit. Okay, I'm starving, but I'm also very excited to use the drone. Oh shit. Good. Nice. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try. There's some stone here. It's actually real good. I'm gonna go farm it. It's pretty fun to fly the drone, actually. Damn. Let's see what's good. Oh, god damn it. Now I need to go get the drone. Oh, hey there. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna leave some of the items because I want to have more inventory space when farming stone. And of course, also, I need to kill myself. Fill it here. Nope. Okay. I fucked up. Oh. No. Good. 
Good thing that I had a SAR on me. Okay, so that's gonna be 8,000 stones, so you're currently at 350. Hey! Okay, so we are 150k stone away from the goal, the final goal, half a million stone, and I think I will actually have enough time. Is there anything left here, maybe? Okay. Ooh, okay. Those. I was kind of close. Okay, I'm gonna use the ladder that I have. For hopefully some goodies from up top. But there is no goodies up here. Almost had it. Ooh, okay. Satchel charge. Three satchels, actually. So there might be some loot up top. Yeah. We have stone here as well. Ooh, okay. Damn. Damn. Let's go. Okay. This could be useful. Ooh, boys and girls, we just made bang. Well, I got most of it, which is kind of cool. I got a bunch of guns in me now. Damn, almost three rows. Quick little room, and I'll be heading out. Oh, hi. Okay. It's 19,000 stone on me. I left some stone here as well. So that's 18, so that's 21,000 stone that I'll be adding to the total. And we are at 371. Okay. Ah, time to head out. Unfortunately, when I logged in in the evening, I was raided. They blew up into my core, which was easy to do, and that's totally my fault. But they were stupid enough for not raiding the base entirely. Since they didn't raid the second floor, all the stone I had was safe. Which meant that all I needed to do was to secure my own TC and continue on farming stone.
Rip my stone. The server was slowly losing its population. With every single day it was easier for me to gather stone as there were not too many people farming it. At the same time there were quite a bit of decayed bases that I could get into and get some loot. Oh my god I can't reach it. This is horrible. Maybe I can drain it somehow? <laughs> I have this one plan that will might actually help me out just a tiny bit. Because I, I've been making some tea. So let's see if it uh, will make any difference. Damn, 350 stone more with each node. Having this boost is... Oh shit. He might actually die from the shotgun trap. Did he die? No, he did not. Seventeen point six K. Since this is not a stag, I'll just leave it here. Let's go farm more. in it. Oh, perfect. Additional 1k. So that's gonna be 14. Could this be a tiny jackpot for me? Oh, okay. No Jackie, but... Okay, more tools that I don't need, and even more stuff that I don't need. Okay, so, that is the most I have ever gotten in a single trip. I think that is 18, 20, 23k stone. Okay. So, I think I will end the challenge today, since I got majority of the stone around my area, I'll just leave for a couple of hours and let the stone respawn again, so, see you in a bit. This is where the two gentlemen that bought stone from me lived. It seemed like they left the server after visiting me for the last time. I took the nearly broken jackie they had and left to collect the remaining stone for the challenge. Okay, it's a bit of a miscalculation, but I somehow lost 4k stone either somewhere in the recordings or when actually farming. Across all of these boxes are 439,000 stone. I sold 50k stone to the two gentlemen. And I used 9k stone to recover after the raid. 
which leads us to a grand total of 498,000 stone. Even after lacking 2k stone, I can definitely confirm that I farmed well over half a million stone because I also had to farm for the upkeep of the base as well as the upgrades of it. If you made this far into the video without subscribing to the channel, please consider doing so. I am super close to 30k subs, so help me smash this new milestone. Until the next time, stay cool, survivors!